Today's video, we build a brand new snake room from scratch. Concrete slab to new temperature controlled snake room. Check it out. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's Adam at Proper Royals. I hope you're doing great. For those of y'all that don't know, I'm in the process of moving. I'm relocating from North Carolina to Florida and the house we're relocating to is much smaller. So I'm converting the garage into a temperature controlled office space and I'm building a snake room in the garage as well. This video today is all about building that snake room. So we're gonna go from this pile of lumber to this point so we're going to get all the way to where i'm about to put on the outside and inside finish work the finish walls i apologize in advance i was a one-man show trying to film while i was building so there's a little bit herky-jerky on the camera but i think you'll find the content is really really cool so here's the process of taking it from a pile of goods to a fully framed and wired and insulated seven by ten snake room that just needs the final finish work done on it enjoy thanks for checking it out today Cheers to you, wherever you are. What's up, guys? I'm here in my new garage, uh, moving into the uh, house that I bought a number of years back. We're going to retrofit it, and we're going to build a new snake room today. So uh, stay tuned. This thing's going to be 10 feet by 7 feet. So I'm going to have 70 square feet of temperature-controlled snake room area. I'll talk you through the insulation, how we're going to uh, heat and cool this thing. And I got a few things laid out already. Got a commercial sink that I'm gonna plumb in on that wall. That'll be plenty big for all of my uh, cleaning needs. Got that from a restaurant. All the boards and the lumber and various projects going on. That'll be the door for the snake room. We'll have it fully secured. All right, first we're gonna build the walls. I'm gonna do the 10 foot long walls first and they are gonna be seven feet high. Time to cut all the boards and get everything, all my cuts made, measured, cut, sharp and then we'll start building. Okay, two walls are built. Those are my 10 foot walls, 85 inches high. There's the second one. I gotta frame that door, and now it's time to build the seven foot wall, and then we'll start installing them. All right, the wall's built, the door is framed. I don't have a handle for it yet, but it is securely in there. I need some shims up top up here, otherwise it's ready to go. Other two walls are done. We're ready to start building this thing. First wall footers are installed and in place. Use tap cons right into the concrete. They went nice and clean. I'm really, really pleased with it. One, two, and three anchors. We're gonna do that on all three walls and then attach it to the garage wall here very shortly and then I'll put rafters up as well. All right, second wall going up. Sorry the lighting changed. I had to close the garage door. Too many wandering eyes. I don't need an HOA asking what I got going on here. I get that one anchored and I'll put the third wall up and then the uh, outer walls and insulation go in next. All right, we made a lot of progress. All three walls are up. Framing, got the roof joists and the garage does clear it and the walls are currently going on. Next stop is gonna be insulation. All right, time to insulate the walls so that it keeps a steady temperature. I am using three quarter inch R5 rated sheet insulation board. And it cuts pretty easy and fits right into the studs. So you can see here, I have a wall done on the outside of the panel and then the insulation board and I'll probably do some uh, like foam injector seal or something right there just to really tighten it up. I'm real happy with that insulation. It fits and is uses very, very easily. Time to put up the insulation and then I'll finish putting on the walls. Those are what the outer walls look like at the moment and I'll probably paint them at some point as well. Couple more walls up. Insulation's going nicely. And I framed in the fan on the roof to equalize temperature in the temperature controlled garage as needed. Just another way to circulate more air and regulate temperatures if and when needed. Time to put up the last of the insulation. Two walls are completely done. And time to do the third wall. 
and we'll do the roof. All right, the final walls are up. I have one panel left to go. But before I put that one on, I am gonna do the roof so that I have access. Making progress, I'm on the inside of the snake room. The ceiling is up, all the insulation is up. That'll be the last panel that I put up for the insulation. I'm just making it for easy access right now. You can see I've got the insulating foam. Once that dries, I'll trim it. All that will be nicely cleaned up. And now it's time to wire up. We're gonna wire our light fixture right here or a switch for the light fixture right here. And I've got one vent for my fan to circulate air from the temperature controlled garage outside and in that'll help me manage the air temperature inside the snake room. And I'll have one more fan inside that just runs to circulate air as well and keep a steady temperature. Time to get wiring. Light fixtures in, let there be light. Switch works, is wired nicely. And we're just about ready to clean everything up, tidy it up, and then put up the interior walls and finish this thing off, do the finish work on it. So here we are in the proper Royals garage. Still got a lot to do to convert the garage to a office and uh, temperature controlled workspace, but the snake room is close. All panels are up and we're ready for inside and outside walls. Some of the outside walls I already started putting up. And I'll tie up those loose wires from the light switch install and we'll go in the door. And here we are. So this is prepped and just about ready for inside walls. So all the insulation and foam will be covered, tidy. So that's it for now. I'll put up another video of the finishing work and the finished product and then move-in day. See ya.